I always had such a strong vision of where I wanted to go and what it is that I wanted to do. I am into the most random things. Like I honestly find inspiration from everywhere. It's Free Runway and this is my edition. So YouTube have invited me to share videos that I love from Black British creatives. So I look bougie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say growing up in East London has shaped my artistry in the best way. It's contributed to me feeling and being the flamboyant woman that I am. And it's made me feel confident to stand by my unique ways. I feel like it's important to approach things fearlessly. And I feel like So Solid Crew did that in the videos, in the music, in everything. There was no kind of set rule. And I'm not a rules girl, so they're my people. <laughs> what I admired about the So Solid Crew era was like, there was a sense of no limit. Black British fashion is definitely calmer than the things that I was into, but there's definitely things that I love because my style is literally split right in the middle. I love the crazy pieces, but I also love simplicity. Like, I'm like, like a Cold War is amazing. Then Moa Lola is like crazy and wild, and that's me too, so. What I love about Moa is just how wacky the creative is. I just think this video has sparked something in me when it comes to how I approach things. It doesn't feel like it's really been done before and it's a talking point. I love to give people talking points with my work. I actually discovered Julie's top five via YouTube Shorts. I just think she's so amazing in a sense where like, she's so genuine, she's so raw and an extremely authentic person. Like if authentic was a person, it would be Julie. And I feel like if you love Mariah Carey but can't sing, something's not right there. We're like sisters from another, <laughs> that the vibe between us is just so brother and sister, but she's so supportive like a sister though. One of my aunties had a party in Tottenham and I got so inspired. I always used to go home with like beat patterns to replicate, new dance moves, you know, aunties love a little swing. So I just feel like you need to be open to being inspired by anything and that's kind of my vibe. One thing about me, when I watch performances, I look at how everything is put together. I picked this video because I was there and it was a beautiful experience. I love the synergy between her and the dancers. I love the use of the stage. I was like, oh, love that. I've never done the Brits before, I love that. And to see her receive that award and have such a powerful performance on the night, it just shows you, if you've got a strong vision and you're strong and you stay at it and you persevere, you're gonna get there. You're gonna get what you do. I find that sometimes things pop up on my YouTube when I need it the most. God has an interesting way of talking to me and that speech of Dave winning the Mercury Prize just kind of just popped up. My mom, my family, my friends, everyone that's here. The heartwarming embrace that he has with his mom. That's gonna be me in the future with my mom. I would wanna win something and pull her up and share the moment with her and have a hug like that. This is your story that we told. So that moment is just too special. It's amazing. Anything Pink Pantheress does, I stand behind her. That's my girl. I think this video really shows off like the perfect mix of what she is, like super soft and delicate, but like that super hilarious side to her, her intelligent side. I just think she's not what people expect. So I was like, okay, so this is doable. So then why not apply it to something like music? this video shoot that was meant to happen and then the pandemic drama just stepped into the picture like boom and then I was just trying to think how how can I pull this video together and then thought how about I just shoot the video in the living room with a green screen didn't Nene Cherry do that with man child and then I did it in the living room I'm a visual girl I'm such a child I need to have music videos running it just keeps me you know especially when I'm placed in, in front of a camera or about to shoot or about to do something that requires all my energy. I have that visual playlist that just keeps me going. 
And there's just something about the Back to Life video. There's so many textures in it and the choreo is what tips me. When you just get a little moment and someone hits you with a little, it's always the little razzle dazzles that do it for me. Just <laughs> It's definitely something that always brings me back to life. <laughs> I think creative control is super important to me because I have such a strong vision on what I would like to be every single step of the way, whether it's my hair, whether it's the sort of glasses I wear, whether it's the sort of music, how a track list is put together. I think control is important because it remains true to me. If you see the stuff that I'm rocking with and you get my vibe and you know what I would like, please drop it in the comments because I want to see. I really want to see. Thank <laughs> you.